Hey guys, we're out at Lakewood Country Club today. We are uh, gonna be playing the back nine here. I'm here with Matt, what? David, and <laughs> Justin, who for some reason his coach wants him to play the red tee, so he's gonna be playing the reds. And he, uh, his edict or whatever is that he has to shoot three under from the reds. I don't think he's gonna do it. We'll, we'll see if he does it, but <laughs> it's not that different. You still have to make putts. So uh, he'll make less bo bogeys, but anyway. Um, but maybe you will. So we'll see. Matt, what, what's your goal today? <laughs> not not score wise. Just what are you working on? What are you gonna? What are you trying to do? I, I just want to go out there, play, have fun, and just just work on my game. Yeah. So mm -hmm. And David's working on his takeaway, and uh, I'm I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just this is my first time playing golf really since Palm Springs, so I have been working quite a bit on my game, just uh, on the range. But rainy. we'll see. It might rain today too, so I just, I'm doing this whole thing with my phone because I didn't want to uh, mess up my big camera. So a little insider tip, this is uh, how I'm vlogging today, just with my cell phone. All, All right, so here it is. Here's Matt Karungi. He is a friend of mine that does workouts with me with uh, Dave Rutoski in Signal Hill, hey, Matt, California. Matt, great drive. this day, you pay attention to his side. driver swing because it was just a clinic of amazing drives just so solid his spread of misses uh, between left and right which is so tight he didn't really miss it at all so uh, Matt hit a good one down the middle and here I go on this par 4 like 415 yard hole and I hit it off the heel and extremely low but it went right down the middle and then David uh, had his club championship coming up and he was trying to rebuild his swing before his run really started and uh, he almost took out Justin there who was up by the red tees waiting not really I'm gonna have to stop filming in a minute all right guys it is legitimately raining right now I have 156 to my ball to the pin and I am unprepared for the rain as most SoCal golfers would be. Okay, so here I go. Well outside 150 yards here, more, pretty close to uh, almost 165 or so. So there you could see I took kind of a shorter swing, but the impact of that swing, uh, swing felt really great. Uh, the ground was a little wet and I didn't account for, you do lose distance uh, on your irons when you're playing off of a wet ball and wet ground, they spin more. Anyway, so uh, so going there, you can just see how I kept the, sh the uh, my hands in front of my chest the entire time. Kind of sawed off my finish and uh, hit it really nicely. So, but I came up just short of it, so now I need to get this up and down to save my par. Let's see how I do here. So, I recorded this video before I did my gear tie video, which you guys would have maybe seen. And my chipping's been a lot better since I've done my gear tie video, but still, I still probably would put that either way. Especially on uh, this kind of grass out here that we have in Southern California. It's extremely grabby around the green, so uh, you don't really want to mess with it if you don't have to. So I just putted that and then made a beautiful putt for my par. So then it was, uh, it was raining quite a bit, so I didn't want to get my phone slash camera wet. So uh, I bogeyed the hole after the one you guys just saw, and then I bogeyed the hole after that one. So I'm two over at this point going into the par four this is another like this is like three three hundred ninety yards. There's uh, fairway bunkers out to the right, and I hit that one solid, but uh, I kind of didn't post up on my left side. It was kind of soft into my left side, and I let it fade a little bit, and it did indeed go into that bunker. So uh, here goes Matt, and a perfect drive that you're gonna get. Old. Uh, sick of me Very. saying that, but Matt's uh, driver is just extremely, extremely accurate, and uh, he's a good player. And and as he gets older and stronger, he's going to be really a great college golfer. He's a junior in high school right now. So then I I came out of the bunker, did not hit a great shot there. You could see I kind of uh, took too big of a backswing, and uh, 
took some sand with me. My low point control was just uh, pretty poor there. So I hit that slightly fat, and I'm about 35 yards right, short of the green. Make par. I haven't hit a green in regulation yet. Thank you, Brendan. So after Matt's good drive, he's just past this drainage area, and he hits a good second shot. shot kind of hit it. At, I think that was a uh, gap wedge. Short, stay short a little bit. Something like that, maybe a pitching wedge. Oh, and uh, so here I am. This is about f uh, 45 yards short. Uh, but I did have a good feeling over this one. I knew I wanted to attack it nicely shallow. I wanted to kind of use the bounce and get it nice and high. Had a good accelerating tempo there and nearly hold it out. And it ended up extremely close, like to tap in range for, to save my par, which is nice because I had just made two bogeys. And making three bogeys, making two bogeys in a row is like making a double bogey. That's, that really stinks, but making three bogeys in a row is really disgusting. So I tap in and I make my par, and we move on to the par five. This is from these tees over on the left here at, at uh, Lakewood Country Club. This is not a difficult hole, but uh, you just don't want to get too greedy with your drive. So you can see how well Matt keeps his hands in front of his chest and how, how good his tempo is. And also look at his side tilt there. He stays in that, uh, in that kind of side flexion position there. Here you can see my weight's a little bit too far back on my heels at a dress, and that promotes that kind of going under. Make too far of a backswing, and uh, hit this kind of like a heel draw that just uh, hooked into the left trees into trouble. So uh, on par fives, on par fives, it's just so important to hit the fairway because uh, I can still hit the green with a three wood if I don't completely pure it but you get into a situation like that this if you don't hit it straight so uh, I have almost no backswing and I top that ball there I've been working recently on that drill that Monty uh, Monty Charmbloom was talking about on my channel where you take a short backswing just to parallel that's and you Monty accelerate drill. to the extreme so that's an extreme example of of that so here I'm not even able to take my left arm to parallel and uh, I got a little too far forward with it, hoping to get a little bit of extra power. And I topped it. I'm about 175 yards away from the hole still. So here goes Matt after his second shot. He's got like a uh, strong hybrid here. He's trying to get it up onto the green to get an eagle chance. You can see his uh, hybrid swing there was a little different than his driver swing, a little bit more under on the way back. But uh, hit it fairly Lucky solidly. Lucky and came up just short. He'll like that one though. So here's 100 and I think 175 yards for my third shot. So I need to to get this on the green to have a to get the green in regulation. And you can see that was a, a long Go. sloppy backswing. Go. Kind of tempo issues Go. there too, kind of slow quick on the way back. Sure long and sloppy. All day I'm jumping up out of my swing or something cuz Something and kind of the buzzword for me on, during this radius. round, just watching it back after I played it, is just low point control. You get that long and sloppy with your turn on the way back, your low point control is going to be super difficult. Matt hit a really nice shot there. And uh, just really good t tempo in every part of his game. That's the thing that I think uh, a lot of these young go golfers have, naturally. So I'm hitting this... Uh, Is it good? I didn't chip here with my putter uh, and I failed to get it even inside of Matt's ball but I, at least I left myself uphill so here's Matt for birdie this will be his first birdie of the day oh good birdie Thanks. Yeah. it's definitely the course All right. Stephen Ames so Matt makes birdie right. on that par 5 after a great drive and a solid hybrid and an up and down so this is me to save par so on these par fives, I think priority number one has got to be get it in the fairway. Because that's going to be the difference between putting for birdie and putting for bogey. So that's it. That's a bogey for me. So now I go to three over. Matt hits another beautiful drive. Great tempo. You can tell it doesn't... He's swinging hard. He is swinging hard, but it doesn't look like he's swinging out of his shoes. He's just... Uh, nothing... You don't want to do anything that's going to compromise your balance. And uh, Matt is really great at doing that. He also works out extremely hard in the gym and and uh, started golf, you know, when he was very, 
very young. Setup issues there a little bit, but a much better, uh, much better backswing there. Nicely accelerating. Fell off balance, but I hit that really solid. Got that nicely down there. Justin was playing with his. He was playing from the red tees, as I told you guys before. Club head goes nicely through his hands. Cup of the left wrist at the top, but nicely flat. Gets the uh, the hips and, and his hands working in front of each other in front of the golf swing. So he gets a lot of good results with that swing. So here I am. Uh, I think I have a gap wedge here. And I could, I could kind of feel on the way down that I had swung too hard, so I kind of tried to saw off my finish. Yanked that one left, but it was perfectly pin high on the fringe. Pin high, but I yanked it. Pretty good result. Way too big of a divot. That's happening because my head's going towards the target too far left. One's got to sit though. There goes Matt. He hit a good shot up there near the hole. He's holding the flag stick for me. Thank you, Matt. And uh, putting here for birdie. That one misses, but I made a par, so it was good to get off of that. Uh, Still three over par. Good to get off of that um, kind of bogey that I had made on the par five. Making a six is really pretty terrible. Matt for birdie, missing on the low side. But uh, has a good round going. Made one birdie and one bogey so far, I think. So teeing off on this very long par four. This is more like 430 or so from the, the rocks here at uh, Lakewood. Didn't hit a great drive there, but uh, and blocked it into the right bunker. So great drive. So just the the, the main Just difference I see between here. Matt's swing and my swing, and I think what makes him such a good driver and makes me a lot more erratic is that he gets a full shoulder turn without getting a lot of arm run out, and then he keeps great tempo through the entire swing, and he's super target focused and not technically focused. So here I am in this bunker. Hit an okay shot, got it, got it out there, just short of the green. Nothing great. Kind of, kind of got my angle screwed up in in this round, where my hands were going high, and then I was trying to save that by laying it off. And uh, here's Matt, his second shot. You can see how zippy he is into the finish. And uh, Matt hit a good one there. So here I am, just short. So I could put this or chip this, but this is uh, a little bit too much even for me to try to putt through here. And I'm kind of, it's just like, I'm bored of uh, like putting from everywhere around. It's kind of embarrassing, constantly putting from everywhere. Hit a great shot, landed it, hit it on my landing point. Just the run out was, uh, I misjudged the run out just a little bit. But I have a legitimate pretty good putt for a par. Here goes Matt for birdie. And you can see, oh, when you have such a solid swing and a solid short game, you get a lot of really great chances for birdie. And that's all you want is just keep getting chances, keep getting chances. A good look at my putting grip here. I'm actually pretty confident with my putting usually. The tempo on that putt was not very good. You get a little quicker with the tempo on your putts and you block them. You get a little like lazy and slow, me anyway, and I start pulling them. So Matt hit a great the, uh, uh, hybrid shot here from 215 yeah, yards, and then I have hybrid as well, and uh, off of a tee, this hybrid will go a little longer than that for me, but uh, if I can kind of just keep myself under control, it's actually a good club for me. So that actually was an a ugly looking swing, if you look up at the top, and it was kind of like hands high laid off, like I said before, but the result was great. I hit it pin high, it was just left of the hole. And uh, the impact felt fantastic. It was just ball. It went, it went, it went, it went, and then it started taking some divot. So really nice. Matt's holding the stick for me here, so I have a birdie putt here. I am four over par at the moment after missing that, making that bogey there. Missed that on the high side, so there's kind of like a pro miss there. Good par on this 215 yard par three. Here's Matt for birdie. Boom. Beautiful putt. Beautiful birdie Good from birdie. 215 Part yards. Three Great job, Matt. So Matt plays a lot of AJGA events and uh, other things out here and uh, starting to look at colleges and stuff like that. He's hoping to get a little bit more size in the next year. He's not extremely long, but uh, if he gets a little bit more size and he keeps that same tempo, he's going to be 
uh, able to do some ridiculously low numbers. Matt hit a good drive down the right-hand side, and this is a par 5 finishing 18th hole. I hit an okay drive. Didn't, didn't hit it great on the face. You could see my... Uh, I was thinking quite a bit about the temp, my uh, sequence as, well, as far as my upper body and lower body and hit it thin, but a low runner. Then hit a good uh, three wood there. Not great, but kind of thin bunted it up the right hand side. I'm all right, sitting at about 105 yards out. And here goes Matt for his second shot and he's just hitting a layup shot. He told me that didn't really see a huge benefit in going for it and bringing some fairway bunkers into play. So he, uh, okay. Okay. he hit his, hit a layup iron there. I actually think Matt should have um, should have hit his three wood because he's accurate enough to be able to, and he would make birdie from 30 yards a lot more than he's going to make it from 70. So uh, hit a good wedge shot there. That was a, my 50 degree wedge from 105 yards. Hit it uh, perfectly uh, pin high. It a little bit. Tugged it just a Degrees little bit left. Yankage. So when you're taking right, huge divots ball. and you're tugging it left just a little bit, there's a great chance mm -hmm. that your head is going towards the target to on your downswing. So here it is. Let's make a, a birdie today. Let's make a birdie today. I'm four over par at the moment. This is for birdie on this par five. There you go. Hey. There you go. All right, didn't get shut out at least. Is that your birdie? That's my birdie. About damn time. All right, did it. Made my birdie, shot 39. Here's Matt for a one oh, under 35. Oh, birdie, birdie finish. He does it. What'd you shoot, Matt? One under. Matt shot one under. With no bogeys? One. Oh, one under, one bogey. Very good. 